this one. Fanatic to boxing. You understand what one week without practice, just still, you are just sitting. And if you say, I will practice later, that week you didn't, my guy, you will be shocked with the performance will be reduced. So the guys in, the, in that area, they emphasize on practicing. They emphasize on exercising. They emphasize on what you call training camps. If you are about to have a fight four weeks before, you can go outside your house and camp somewhere and begin to gym every day, train every day for the match. If you don't do that, my guy, you will be shocked by the energy that is coming from your opponent. You will be given one blow, you will die. So what am I talking about? Themselves, they are walking a way which is worth their calling. They are into boxing. You, you don't have to do that. There is an exercise that you need to do as an individual who knows his or her calling. The day you missed your one day of prayer, I know, I, I'm talking from experience. One day that I miss prayer, it affects my whole week. One day that you decide, which I have to tell, I'm very tired. I'm tired, you try to reason. Uh, no matter how much you reason, check yourself the next day. You will never come back to the same energy that you were having last week. Have you ever noticed it? Have you ever noticed? Could one day, you say, you say, you say, no, no, not a problem. Tomorrow I'll try to compensate it. Because today I was supposed to pray for one hour. I didn't pray. Tomorrow I'll do for two hours. Trust me, tomorrow you might do as well the same thing. So your journey as a person who is following the spiritual journey, make sure that you walk a journey worth your calling. Some of you, that is why, do you know the, the day that you, uh, let's say, you, you are going to have a, a, a fight with this brother who is sitting here. We are going to have a conversation. He is going to say something that is going to trigger my anger. Then we are going to fight. Do you know that the fight might not have been caused by the current situation? It might be caused by my journey that I've been walking through the past weeks. The flesh was developing. Then I encountered this brother in the flesh. If whatever he had said, if I was in the spirit, I was going to say, these are the temptations from the devil. I was going to say, devil, get thee behind me. But if I meet this brother in the flesh, we are going to have a fight. And the people are going to record me. And the people who assume well, this is my character, but it's not my character. There is a journey that I missed. The I was walking in the flesh, operating in the flesh, skipping prayers, skipping reading the word. All those practices, if you miss them, there is a day they will affect you. There is a day they will affect you. A person who is under mentorship, be strict to yourself. The day you say, I will break fasting today at five, trust me, the whole week you will be having some ups and downs. And the other day, you will miss the whole day. And it will not be a problem. This is what the devil tried to do. He tried to get to create an, a negative energy in you. Because the one day that you break, it will compel you to break the second day. The three days that you break, it, they will make you feel like, ah, other days are useless. I just did it. I can do it anyhow. So you will spend seven weeks without fasting because of the one day that you just released yourself. So walk worthy of your calling. Who are you? Are you doing the spiritual exercises every day? The life that you live at home. No, I'm not talking about sins here. I'm talking about your daily exercise. A few days ago, I sent Elise a, a message. I said, my daughter, I just want to ask you, how do you manage your, 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 your day, balancing it between you? Because I was sensing something in the spirit. I was sensing something. Could you, you know, if I don't mentor her on how to to, 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 to partialize his day, he will end up as a, an empty vessel, but amongst people who are spiritual. There are people here who are empty vessels. They come here. The only time they eat is when they come here. Are you hearing me? You know, a cow which is malnutrition, Never think it is, it's getting thin because it didn't eat today. It's a journey of past days of not eating. You are hearing me? There are some people here, if you think you, you only get fed spiritually when you come here, you are missing the point. You will never gain strength. You will never grow. And the boring part about the spiritual process is you don't see whether you are gaining or not. There is a day that will show that you are gaining. A problem will come on you. All the word that you have not, a problem will come to you and that problem was supposed to be solved by the word that you didn't read 
on that day you decided to say, let me relax. And that word was supposed to be the word which was going to give you comfort when that problem comes. And you don't know it. So that is a simple thing. And you are in a problem. You rush everywhere. You end up being at Matsubaba. You end up being at Krawa. You end up being at Sangoma. And it is caused because you are empty. How did you come, become empty? The day that you skipped. So you mustn't skip your gym day. You mustn't skip your prayer day. You mustn't skip your studying day. No matter how much tired you are, force it. It works for you. You are hearing me? Is, do you know, the day you are tired is the, the, the best day to pray. Because that day the devil knows what is coming after is very, very dangerous. Whenever you feel like tired, I, I can't pray, I'm, feeling, I'm just feeling tired. Know that the devil is planning something against you. So the day that you are tired, pray the most. If, I, if you think I'm lying, the day you are feeling tired, like ah, today I can't pray, just to force yourself five minutes. After ten minutes, <laughs> You'll be forcing yourself to stop. What is happening here? The devil so good, the prayer that you are going to make today is going to cause problems in the spiritual world. So how do you do it? You take down the person. You make a few tired. But I'm telling you the truth. Everybody who say it, I'm feeling tired to pray. Look at what they will do after. They can even go and cook or even wash. Nobody says, I'm tired, I want to sleep, so let me sleep. They will go on the phone. Then from there, it's three hours on the phone. Sometimes you, 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 you say, I'm tired at 11 o'clock, and you find yourself awake at 4 a.m. What's happening here? It's the devil. You know, there is a lady who sent Pastor Simba a message. She said, you know, I was uh, in the spirit, dreaming, what, what, what. Then there were evil spirits who were very, very angry. They wanted to arrest Apostle, do this and that. And they were saying, this man is causing havoc in our kingdom. Now, but this lady doesn't even know could there are prayers that we are doing here. But in the spirit already, she caught the signal to tell you could what you are doing here may seem like you are doing nothing. But in the spirit, we are misplacing things. We are moving things. The prayers that we have been in, engaging for these past three months, already the kingdom of the devil is shaking. Then I said, I might, myself, I don't just believe in what people say. I, God talks to me every day around four to six God visits me. I sit down in the spirit. He tells me what is happening. I said, I wait for the time when God comes and tells He came. He told me. He said, yeah. This, look, get into the, their kingdom. I heard them complaining. Could he, under our world, you are causing a lot of problems. They were shouting. They were screaming. But how did I do it? We gather here every Saturday. We pray. We make sure when we are praying, we know what we are doing. But already the kingdom of the devil is feeling the heat. So the moment you stop, do you know what they do? They will go with the report. We have managed. We have managed. We have managed. The, the moment you don't pray, they go with the report. So if, okay, do you know what is a spy? I want to ask you, people who are here, listen to me. Let's say you, you are fighting against people who are behind the wall. Hmm? Did you hear me? You are fighting against people who are behind the wall. Then you go there. You find them sleeping. <laughs> Do you see how dangerous it is? You find them sleeping. Then somebody says, let's, let, let's pray. Like you know what Jesus did with Peter and, and his crew, the, the, the three. The Bible says Jesus told them, stay here, be praying. Watch over because the, 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 the times that you are getting in, into are very what? Dangerous. And the Bible says when Jesus was praying, Peter is sleeping. But look at this. Look at this. Jesus is praying with agony, with pains. He is about to be killed, but he is still praying. Look at the moments that Jesus, you prayed. Most of you, you can't pray. In, in times of trouble, you don't pray. In times of trouble, God is your enemy. In times of trouble, praying is your enemy. In times, whenever something befalls you, prayer becomes the last thing. And every, if you are going to make a prayer, it's anger against God. This is where you miss it. And what is Peter doing? He's snoring, sleeping. So imagine Jesus is sending in the spirit to say, ah, the times that we are getting into are very, very tough. Let me pray. Peter is sleeping and demons are watching. And Peter, be very careful. 
The reason why you are sleeping is the same reason why you would deny Jesus. Some hours late, you don't see. The reason you are sleeping now, but some hours later, there is going to be a temptation that is going to come unto you and you are going to deny your Lord. So if you pray, you end up as victorious. You never deny your Lord and you are never going to be killed. Peter, you are not included by uh, on the people who are going to die on the cross. So why are you scared? So you go there, you watch people are sleeping. And then you go and tell your master, ah, there. <laughs> they are sleeping. Okay. So what they will do, they will plan their strategies using your weakness. So if they are going to attack you, they are going to attack you with the information they saw on you. If, they see, if the devil sees with the phone is your weakness, every day he will come through the phone. If he knows with your friends are the weaknesses, he will come through those friends. That is why you see we become addicted to certain things. This is the devil propelling them into our lives so that most of the people who are we have a prayer life which is broken. They are broken by one way, not seven. It's one way. And the devil will keep on manipulating things through that one way. Why? Because he came to your camp. He saw you sleeping. And the report was given by demons. They came there. So when they came to you, you know, first day, you just break and they see. The next day, you are paralyzed. You are no longer even praying. The, 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 the hour, one hour you said you are, we are going to pray Father I thank you and you say to yourself prayer is prayer even one minute <laughs> and when you are like this the whole week and when you are very low in the flesh <laughs> the, the temptation that will come will find you in the flesh and you know when you sin do you know what, what, what sin does when you sin big you, you, you don't go back and repent. You just continue with the journey. You know? <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. People who sin big, they don't repent. They just feel like, you know, a little bit, you know. But tomorrow they'll still continue with it. And they'll say, Father, help me. Now they'll go in a position of saying, Father, I'm failing, help me. Father, I'm failing. And God doesn't help. The Bible is clear about it. Flee fornication. Resist the devil. You will flee away. So when you say, God, you help me, God, you help me, most of the times you say, ah, this one, you chose it for yourself. Then now when you see God is not helping you, this is when you say, nobody is not a sinner, everybody is like that. <laughs> so now you are established in a certain thing, and the devil, and then you know, when you are saying, nobody is a sinner, do you know which side you are in now? You are on the camp of the devil. You are the one who is helping the devil to promote sins. It's a war. It's a war every day. We are warring against our bodies. We are warring against our friends. We are warring against our minds. We are warring against our laziness. We are warring against our stinginess. We are warring against everything around us. It's not easy. This is the reason why I said, let's not stop. Today I was supposed to be at the funeral, but I realized that the devil can use this as an advantage. What did I do here? When I was done with the recordings here, I said, let's go. I went there to... to, 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 to to Cosmos. I came back. I said, the devil, even funeral, won't stop me. I know this is your weakness. And I was told already when we started this seven days journey of praying for these things, he, the devil was very angry oh, because of that est spiritual establishment. I said, I know you. I will be there. I will be there. And, two, seven, and you know what? Today, I, I almost lost it. You know what, what, what I almost did? I almost said, I will tell my people to do the sessions and I will go to the funeral. Then I realized, Guti, I will miss today, and I will also meet next week. So how many weeks are this? Two weeks. So the devil is, is a strategy, and you need to be, to, to, to be well planned and programmed so that you don't find a way into your life. So are you walking the way, the, 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 your, 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 your journey, the, 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 the way you are supposed to walk? If you are a pastor, walk like a pastor. An evangelist, walk like an evangelist. A prophet, walk like a prophet. A teacher, walk like a teacher. Your daily exercise. A teacher, you know what? You are gifted as a teacher. Teacher, you are a prophet. You start prophetic materials every day. That's your prophetic exercise. You test yourself on things. I want to prophesy to things. 
if this gift is around, you can pick up things to try to understand what this one. Am I understanding what, 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 what? Am I not getting it? This one, I, I missed it. When you miss it, you really know that you are not on that right position every day. If you can make a, miss a day without practicing something that is pertaining your journey, I'm telling you the truth. The year will end, you will be empty. You will be very, 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 very empty. I've been consistent for three years, and it's now going to four years now. It is because of the daily practice. I make sure that when it comes to my spiritual journey, I, 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 no matter how much bees, you saw how much bees I, 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 I am for the days, but I was making sure that on daily basis, my spiritual stuff, I fulfill them. Prayer, reading the word, meditation, focusing, so that the devil won't find a gap. Because in my tiredness, this is where the devil finds a gap. So guys, are you praying at home or it's just here? Let's be honest. Are you sure? Yeah, I thank God I saw some other people never said anything. They know what is prayer. <laughs> prayer is good for you. It's never good for anybody. And when you get tired, you are killing yourself, not anybody. So the last three, lastly, listen. I once spoke about this, like when I started the ministry. When I started the ministry, I did not start ministry uh, like I'm just coming from a tavern. Then tomorrow, I'm, I'm, I'm on the pulpit. It's not like that. Let me tell you my journey, then we pray. Are you listening? This is how my journey started. Mm, there was a popular musician, is it Kudakwashi Msarurwa, the one who sang, something, something like that, that guy. So he was coming from my area in Masiar was there. I learned with his, uh, some of the brothers from Sarua family and whatsoever in Jimba there. So when he passed on, I realized it later with this guy all along he was silent because he was sick with cancer. So cancer did everything that it could until it killed him. But this person who is being eaten by cancer is being eaten when he is a celebrity. He could reach out to his brothers and sisters for help. But most of the stuff were happening there in the rural areas. Nobody was attending the situation. It was never publicized. So when it came to my attention, it touched my heart. How does the world operate this way? The person is popular. He has friends in the musical cycle that they can even donate something so that they can get treatment for this guy. So because of that, it was a way that God instilled a heart of loving people in my heart. I started a program uh, some of you who were by with me before calling, you know it. It was like the world in trouble. Uh, what, what, what? It was a matter of people sending their problems. I post on social media. I look for problems. And I went to a level of even coming up with uh, natural remedies to help people who were in sicknesses, cancer. And uh, if I tell you with the person that I helped on the first, the first person, the first barren testimony that we started with, was not by prayer. Why it was by Bonongwe. You know Bonongwe? More. Yes. I, huh? What is it called? I don't know what Jake, whatever, but more, right? You see? So, yeah, it's there, it's even there, it's there on social media. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. But the reason why I did not want to talk about it, it is because people would misunderstand was the journey is too long to explain. So I'm doing that. I'm helping people. So now the problem that was coming now, people were coming to me with problems and I could post on social media. And some other references were to Sangomas. That was the problem. And I, I have a Christian background. And some other problems were spiritual to an extent that I used to solve them before I began to drink alcohol. So the heart is coming back. God, I can help these people, but I'm drinking now. I can't help people. You know? So I was referring people to pastors. I was looking for pastors. Guys, do, you have a, do I have a pastor who can help people with the spiritual husbands and this stuff? Connecting people. And when I'm posting some other sangomas are coming in the comment section. I'm helping, I helped a lot of people. Then in that time, then comes a period of uh, Corona. Everything is closed inside. People are hungry. No access to food. 
no access to work, money is not circulating. And I am one of the people who is not having money, but I was better. I was writing novels, so people were buying novels. I was able to pay my rent, I was here and there. So there were people who were hungry, were not finding food. I and this other lady was called Mimi in Limpopo. We organized a team which we started to help people get food from there. We send them. We do whatsoever that was necessary for people to get food, and people began to get food. So as I was a person who has developed a heart, ladies began to come to me with problems. You know, I, I, I never knew about Jacob. I never knew about Masari. I never knew about those things. I never knew about uh, uh, non-stop bleeding. I never knew about this. Uh, the problems that I had from ladies, and uh, the ladies who be telling you problems, when you look at them, they look fine. Those are the ladies, maybe on our days, but I'm going to jump here. <laughs> you see? So now I'm seeing good. So this lady, this one, and that one, and that one, all of them, they are coming to me with problems, but they look fine. So it means good. Ladies, they need to be loved. Not in just a way of romantic affairs. You can just love a lady as a human being, and the hope they come from out of her problems. So I had plenty of mentees by that time. Uh, people that I was mentoring, uh, plenty of girls, the, the ladies, what, what, they began to come to me, and I began to mentor them in different ways. Some were writing novels, some were singing, some were doing this. Then there was one kid who was about 15 to 16 years in Windsor. I always talk, talk about this. It's about 15, 16, but she was young, if it's not, if it's not 14. So when I'm seeing this kid, I myself, as a mentor, the spirit of a mentor or a father would do spirit is, is something that God gives you. I'm meditating. I'm looking at a kid. I'm saying the visibility that I'm seeing on this kid is now too much. Men are going to jump into here. This one is not going to spend six months. This one. I'm not prophesying. I'm just seeing. I'm not yet into ministry. I'm just a person who loves helping people. Right? So this kid, I call her, and she comes. She assumes that uh, I want a romantic affair. You know, she was happy with uh, a, a good looking guy wearing some glasses, and he's smart. I don't know, whatever. But I'm standing here. When I'm talking to her, I can really see what the, the little girl is thinking about an affair here. So I'm talking to her. She now begins to call me a friend. So each time she's passing, she's looking at the yard. She sees me. She's happy. She stops even going to, to buy tomatoes. She even sends other people to talk to me. But myself, I'm seeing Goody, the way she walks up and down and the way she's dressed is going to be a problem. And uh, 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 visibility is now being seen. Not everybody thinks like a human being. Some other people think like animals. They don't care. So I said, this one, I need to help her. The day I said, you need to stop dressing like this. You need to stop going around and, and you need to respect yourself. The day I began to speak about things like those, that was the end of friendship. And I was clear about you. <laughs> and at the end of friendship, two months later, she was pregnant. Why? She had said, I want to do modeling. And you could see what you are modeling. She could fit. All right, this is what she wants. I want to, you could hear the brighter mind. But the way, she, she has the brighter mind, but the way she's walking. So her, why did she get pregnant? She's walking the way, not of modeling. Look at that modeling. <laughs> so you hear me? Hmm? This journey that you are walking, if you make a mistake of using wrong ingredients in your journey, things will work against you. And you find yourself not growing. You find yourself not prospering. You find yourself even favors which are supposed to come naturally. People, there are people, do you know what? God, Lindy, God has already prepared people who are there to help you, to lift you and take you. God has, not even people, things themselves that are, if you are just moving in the right way, they are th even the, 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 the walls are ready. Everything is ready. That is why you hear the Bible says, the, the whole world 
is waiting for the manifestation. Not the whole world, the whole creation. When we are talking about the creation, even the soil, the soil is waiting for, 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 for the manifestation of the sons of God. The chair that you are sitting on, it is waiting for the day of the manifestation of the sons of God. Even the Bible, if you hear the Bible, it says, when you preach and people don't listen to you, what do you do? Shake the dust. And on the day of judgment, that dust will come before the presence of the Lord. And say, he preached. This is the dust. What am I saying? I'm saying, if you are walking a journey worthy of your calling, everything is ready to support you. I'm telling you, if you ask people, they will tell you that Pretoria is difficult. But Pretoria, in as much it is difficult, like whatsoever they say, you guys who are here under mentorship, you are more than a church. But there are some people who are struggling. But you wonder, why is this small man making it? We are doing it the right way. And everything is ready to support us. So if you walk a journey worthy of your calling, everything around you supports you. Even where I stay. I don't stay at a place where I'm bothered by anybody. No. I'm not bothered. I've been staying there maybe for three years. But there is no any day that I can tell you that I was bothered. Even where I stay, supports me. I've never struggled with the transport. I've never asked the money for transport. I always have it. Even the transport money knows that I need it. That is why Jesus said, do not be worried about what you shall eat tomorrow. Tomorrow must be worried about you. How, 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 how do you go on a situation whereby tomorrow gets worried about you? You put yourself right with God. Begin to walk a journey worthy of your calling. And everything around you begins to be worried about you. I myself, I myself, I've never gone to any place where I was not bought a plane ticket. Don't, I'm not talking about a church. No, churches which are grown. I have people who have years in ministries. We are talking, GM ministry is one of the churches which doesn't have money. Both if you look into our accounts, we don't have extra. But without the extra, come and check the church here. It's not about money. But everything, even without money, Kusatowane Mari can support us. <laughs> look at this church. Look at it. Go and see other churches which are, are financially stable. They, they're not like us. They're not like us. We don't have money. Us. We struggle each and every time to pay our renters. But that situation still supports us. We don't close. We are not going to close anyhow. We are going to continue. Why? Because we are doing the thing which is right. So you guys, whatsoever that you want God, whatsoever that God wants you to be, if you follow it rightly, don't go home and cheat yourself. You are an intercessor, you become something else at home. You are a pastor, you become something else at home. You are a pastor, but your phone is saying something. Who do you talk to? What about? What, 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 uh, is your phone that free that to an extent that if I take it and begin to read it on private, are you free? But mine, you can do it. There is nothing, there is no secret there. There is nothing, there is nothing. Otherwise, the thing that I can keep there are people's secrets, not mine. I'm an open book that you can study anytime that you want. But some of you here, you are bombs which are ticking. There are a lot of things that you are hiding under a shell. One day when I was talking to another pastor, a man of God, I said, man of God, do you really see this one, this one? is a bomb. It's ticking. One day it's going to, to burst. Do you know? I was telling even Osi yesterday. I said, Osi, whatsoever that you do under this roof, you must know well that there is a day when we are going to know about it. You must know. You can never hide it forever. So, whereas you are enjoying, wait for the day. One of his friends, one day we are coming from, from Cosmo. Then, I begin to say, anyway, I'm hearing smell of cigarettes here. But I'm looking at the people. None of them looks like he's smoking. You only to find it one week later, a person being beaten for cigarette. You run, what's happening? I ah, was smoking, I said, beat. And then you realize, good, I was in the car. I said it, good. I mean, and the cigarette, I'm sp smelling it spiritually. So I'm saying, there is nothing you can do as a person who is walking his journey with God. You are hiding it. You are trying to be special. This is the reason why I tell you, good, be an open book. If you are failing somewhere, come, let's talk. Church is not a, a place of holy people. This is a clinic. Of people who are sick with the sins. People who are sick with addictions. And we come here, we heal them. When they are okay, they go to heaven. Everybody who, is, who goes to heaven, he has done his duty here. 
So, like I would say, Kurama Makuraga Agawanda, who's good one of Maristeric. I was not perfect, you are perfect, Marano Kutura, Shogurama did not. Inoki was perfect. What happened? <laughs> when you are perfect, you don't live here. So long, you, 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 you are still living on this earth. Ah. So what am I saying? I'm talking to people who think if I show my imperfections, I'll be judged. My guy, us, ourselves, we are not even tired of telling you the truth. We are not angels. We have wars. We are fighting every day. For us to be, to, to be in the place that we are here, we are here because of battles. And we are open about them. Some other things, we run away from them. <laughs> She's a family. And uh, you are too much holy. You are a, 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 a perfect person. This is what This is what I'm afraid. I'm not perfect. Paul, after doing everything, living a life without a wife, he comes and says, I'm not perfect. I'm trying. Eh? What is he saying? And one day, Paul says, You know, there was a thorn in my flesh which was put by God because of the visions and what were the revelations that I had. And I said, God, please remove this one. And God said, My grace is sufficient for you. We don't even know what was the thorn in the flesh. Understand? Even when he was telling you, you know, it's right for a person to stay like me. But when you are now seeing what is now too much, Mary to avoid fornication. He's talking from experience. Pressures. You, you have to fight. A, you, let, let's stay in the spirit so that we do not fulfill the desires of our flesh. When he's saying our flesh, he's not including, excluding himself. He's also including himself. He knows that he has some struggles with the flesh. But how does he overcome them? He stays in the spirit. How do you stay in the spirit? You make sure in the day, morning you monitor your day. Lindy, when you are doing the people's hair, don't talk, talk too much. You end up getting offside. When you get offside, you can really feel yourself, but now I'm dark. When you are dark, you are finished. And when you are finished, the devil will, will control. You see life. You see what life does. You end up clashes with people. What do I do to get out of the church? Play pens for Jesus. So, our first prayer, prayer point, the first one, my mentees. The way I am cooking you, not every pastor is ready. Do you know what, 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 what men of God do? When they call you for mentorship classes, they professionalize it. And when things become professional, they are no longer logic to real life. I'm telling you the truth. They just come here. Now we are getting into the first episode. Now is the, 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 the thesis of this the, the issue. Now write corrupt. The word corrupt, it means blah, 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 blah. you write a lot of verses. But what he is talking about sometimes that doesn't even anything, have anything to do with the life that you are living every day. But the mentorship that I'm giving you here is the mentorship that helps you tackle uh, your daily problems. There is a time that we shall give Pastor Michael to give you that time. You know, that professional time where you go into a class and so forth. This one is a freestyle spiritual lessons where we get to interact between the physical world and the spiritual world. So that when you are walking our journey, we can walk it nicely and properly. For We are in a fight. You hear me? We are in a fight, number one, against ourselves. So number one prayer now, God help me overcome my myself. Hmm? Hello. Do you know? Let, let me tell you about myself. Do you know the reason why I always drink these ones? Do you know? I used to drink alcohol every day. So, <laughs> yes. So you wonder. The reason why I drink too much of the these beverages. And water, I drink water a lot. I drink these ones, even if you buy me two liters. As we are sitting, you see it going down. You see it going down. Why? Alcohol was 100% in my life. And then definitely, when I took it out of myself, there is a percentage of the water that must come into my body, which is no longer getting in there. So naturally, I just resorted to, I drink. So long, it's after fasting, I make sure. And you find me drinking other one. Or that one, this one is the third after six. And uh, I'm not, I'm not, so long as before 12, I'll kill them. 
So what am I doing? I'm fasting against self so that I don't give any place for alcohol in my body. So I have a strategy to fight. You, some, some of you don't understand. Ah, but how can okay, you fight? My guy, this thing is called self. It's not you. It's self. I know myself. So my battle is not yours. And what is yours? I myself, I did not leave alcohol because it was, I, I was tired of it. Like what people say. You know, you must go and play and get tired. Us, we were never tired. We wanted to drink. Even when God was negotiating, was negotiating calling with us, he said, leave everything. I said, I will just leave everything. Just leave alcohol. He said, I will give you a strong mama. You will run away. Then I stopped everything. But when I stopped everything, I resorted to. That's why I have a lot. I drink liquid. I drink malt. I drink all those things. I'm just trying to make sure that I stay in the clean things that doesn't intoxicate intoxicate my body. When they you, what do you, how do you cover yourself? Some of you, we are not talking about things which are, you are addicted to masturbation. And it comes. Sometimes you spend a week, say, yeah. The other week, you are baking into it. There are people who are into it, yeah, thoroughly. And some who are married, food. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the reason why your prayer life is affected, this is because of that no matter how much you try to make sure it's not a sin, you really know it. This is the reason why when you get into prayer, when it comes to your mind, the devil nails you on that every day when you are about to pray. He says, ah, but hey, you're watching that one. You know? You're watching. So your prayer life, it's in a week, you, yes, you pray every day, but you pray under guiltiness. Every prayer that you make under guiltiness, the truth is you're not praying anyway. It's already controlled by the devil. Because the prayers, we make them with faith. And there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. So long condemnation is still there. Already the devil is in control. Because you can never condemn yourself on things that you are not doing. You condemn yourself on things that you really know what I'm doing. When you know I'm not doing it, no matter if the, imagine, if the, imagine the devil comes and reminds me of my past. You know, I'll open my, my drink and, and continue. And I, I, I freely speak about it because it's past. When it's wanting you, fresh around. So the devil will win you that way. Your prayer will be just coming from the mouth, not from the heart. And that prayer life is a chain. We don't want it. We want people who pray. You know when I pray, I don't have anything that I, I, I when I pray, I say Father, forgive me for things that I did unknowingly. Things that I did knowingly, I say them by name straight. You understand? So now we want to pray. Father, help me to walk with you. What do you want? Some of you, you really know where you are missing it. Tell him, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. We are both of us in this battle. And I want to thank God. There are a lot of things that I overcame, that I paralyzed through prayer, crying to God. At some point, I said, God, if this one doesn't end, well, I will leave. I don't want to walk a journey with blemishes with you. I mean it. When you meet it, God will hold your hand and walk with you. Man, some of you, you don't mean it. You say it and you go back to the areas where you do your things. Please, don't go back there. So our first prayer is between your God and you. Father, I want to walk with you. You know who I am. I am a minister. You know who I am. I have a calling. You know who I am. You want to use me. You can't use a person who is dead like me. Help me, help me, help me. Sometimes these are thoughts which comes when you are sitting, they just come from nowhere. Say, Father, help me, I want to stay clean. Don't worry, it's very natural. It comes naturally, but spiritually you can overcome it, and it? Mm. So we want to pray, let's stand up. Uh, can somebody help me with the Bluetooth? They want to put in something to, to pray with. Before we go to pray, let me uh, say this. I'm just receiving a message that one of the guys we grew up with uh, passed on last week. Uh, it's not worth it to live a life without Christ because death can find us anyway, anyhow. And it so the reason, other reason why we need to stay clean and focus on God, it is the reason of 
what comes after life as well. Uh, are, you, are, are we sharp there? Is it Bluetooth or what? Mixer 3. Listen now. Attention. We are going to pray. Now it's going to be 10 o'clock. We want to pray for around one hour so that those people who are on fasting can go back and uh, and uh, and eat. So when you are praying this kind of prayer, do you know what you do? Uh, you, it's not a prayer like this one. There is there are times when you go, la, 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 la. stop that for now, for this prayer. The reason why you are talking to God, you are pouring out your heart to him. Those prayers are good when you are now energized. Start well. Pour out your heart to God. Don't look around too much. Even movements, you can even limit them so that you can concentrate with your God. The reason why on these prayers, most of the times, I take my microphone off. It is because I want to talk to my God about my personal stuff. Why should you hear them? And it, So all of you have a position that you don't get distracted. Because the problem with walking when you are praying this kind of prayer, imagine you are walking, then you see somebody passing by. What are you going to do? You are going, number one, to concentrate on stopping. When you are stopping already, your mind is concentrating on the movement. Okay, you turn back again. There is another one. You understand? So these prayers, the ones like this, they need you to pour out your heart like what Hannah did. Hannah was just, the lips were just moving, but there were no words. But out of that prayer, this is where Samuel came. You understand what I mean? So on this prayer, say, Father, I want to walk my journey with you. I want to be perfect. I, wanna, I know that I'm not perfect, but I want you to help me. It is God who help us in our weaknesses, isn't it? Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to be myself. I don't want demons to do anything in my life. I don't want the devil to control my life in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. I am a